So this is a coordination exercise to test your coordination skills. So in this exercise we'll be doing alternate hand wall toss test. The purpose of this is to measure hand eye coordination. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to do right arm and then left arm and I'm going to have about two meters away from the wall and I'm going to have to do as many as I can in one minute. The more I can do, the better my coordination is. Um, so yeah, the more, success, the more successful catches, the better. Ready? Okay, so that's it, and that's our first exercise. Okay, so this is another coordination exercise. Coordination happens pretty much in when you're writing, you're using your hands up, eye coordination when you're writing. So coordination happens all the time. One thing you can measure coordination is how well you can balance on one leg. So if you can balance on one leg for two minutes, Apparently that means you have good um, leg coordination. So if you just put your arms out straight in an equal line, put your arms out straight in an equal line, and then you just put your leg back like that. And if you can do that for a minute, you've got good leg coordination. So if you just continue that for a minute, and uh, then you switch to your alternative leg, you do the same. Another exercise which tests coordination between your entire body really. It's kind of a balance, balance exercise. Put your knees and your arms down and then you've got to just lift your leg, leg up and your right arm up so it goes like that. And then the other side. And if you just stay there for about a minute each side, you should have good balance and coordination. That means your body and your muscle to mind connection is good and your coordination should be too. So this is a flexibility exercise. This will be testing your flexibility. So what you do is this will be testing your hamstrings and you just sit over, reach as far as you can and hold it for 10 seconds. And that will be your score and then a good flexibility pretty much from 24 and upwards so I say that's very good very good there. medium probably 12 and then bad it's probably from about 1 to 5 to probably quite high. Stretch and exercise to test your stretch your flexibility this will be testing your glute flexibility and what you do is it's a static stretch you put your right leg at a 90 degree angle and you'll get your right arm your left arm and you'll hug your leg inwards and this will stretch your glute here you hold it for um about well they say 30 seconds is good because it stretches out the muscle fibers and that's what's going to be a good flexibility but um to measure this some people they usually start out by here that's bad flexibility, this is intermediate flexibility, and this is good flexibility. So this is the muscular endurance test. These are two muscular endurance exercises to test your muscular endurance. The first one we're going to be doing is a press up, where you should have a straight back, have your arms in line with your shoulders, just like that. You should have a straight back. You should keep your um, elbows tucked in, like that, go all the way down, and up. that's one press up. All you've got to do is, you'll have a minute to complete as many of them as possible, and the more you do, the better you'll have muscular endurance. That'll test your muscular endurance. The next exercise to test muscular endurance is a sit up. 
can have your pot in the sand on the uh, on your shoes, but if you don't, you can take So this is the one. This is the 30 meter speed test. So this is to test your speed. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running 30 meters. Someone's going to have a stopwatch. My friend Callum there. He's going to be timing me. And what you got to do is you got to run from this cone to the yellow cone down that end, and you got to do it as quick time as possible. So 30 meters. So someone just starts the thing. to run like by long strides and uh, if you really want to be fast you can always do the, the start position like they do in the 100 meter sprint and then just run that uh, gives you a bit of a boost for the beginner. Testing our agility, and uh, this exercise, what we'll be doing is we'll be running in and out of the cones as fast as we can, and then we'll change direction very quickly. That change in direction tests our agility, and then we'll come back in and out through the cones. And the faster you can um, do that, the better. You'll be timed, and you've got to do ten of them. So you go in, out, in, out, turn left. Then from that left cone, you go back in, out, in, out. And the quicker you do 10 of those, the better your agility will be, and this will test your agility. There we go. You do 10 of those, and the quicker you do them, the better your agility will be. So this is the cardiovascular endurance test. What we'll be doing in this exercise is we've got to do a 1.5 mile run. Um, in the infantry, if you want to be a truck driver, you only got to complete this within 12 to 14 minutes. If you want to be in the infantry as a real Royal Marine, you have to do this in under 10 minutes. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running from here back to that fence. This is that's 400 meters going down to that fence and back. So we're going to do that um, six. Six times, we're gonna do that six times, and that'll be 1.5 miles. So, um, Callum here is gonna stop watch me, and I'm gonna run back to there and here six times to complete the 1.5 mile run. And, uh, uh, yeah. I'm hours later. Cardiovascular endurance test. This is the strength test. For this test, we'll be using 200 kilogram power bag. And uh, this test will be talking to test your strength. This task uh, is implemented in the armed forces, uh, or pretty much all of them. For infantry, you would need to lift uh, the 40 kilogram, and that's 35. Uh, but for the driver, the military, you don't need to lift 20. So for the purpose of this, we'll be using the 20. And I will be showing you how to lift it properly. You wrap your hands around like this, squat, lift, and place it firmly down. And to take it down properly, you put your forearms like this, squat, and drop it down like so. That is uh, the strength test. Uh, this is the reaction time test. This tests your reaction times. So what's going to happen is I'm going to drop the ruler from zero, and uh, Callum is going to catch it in his hand. So he's going to hold his hand out straight. <laughs> Just like that, every time, 
I'm going to drop it from about 10 centimeters above him and he's just going to catch it three times in a row because I'm going to do it three times to make it better. You record this data and that will tell you whether you have quick reaction times or not.